All right, guys, today me is ready. Okay, so <laughs> we haven't had it out in a while. This is one that we have to take out every once in a while to see if it still works. You know, because you never use the damn thing. Okay, so we're going to take it up for a little bit. I didn't charge the transmitter. You see, it's only at 50%, so just be a few minutes. I just want to see if the damn thing still works. Let me check the settings on there. Ten eighty P let's just go get out of that. Okay, the video is recording, it's connected. Uh let's take off. Yes, no. Oh, here's the button down here. Uh, uh. Return point has been updated. Taking off. This is the ladybug. You guys know that. Let's see. Surrounding. What is. Let's take it out here a little bit here. To do the surrounding. Enter surrounding. Well, it didn't do nothing. <laughs> Hold on, maybe Exit I didn't surrounding. It Hold on a minute. Enter surrounding. Well, screw it. I'll just exit. Exit surrounding. You know what? I don't have my phone that has the, he has the data on it, so maybe it can't read the GPS. That's right. I don't have any uh, data on this phone. So let me see if it would do anything else. Let me see if it would do that leaving thing. I think that's like a droney or something. Okay. Enter visual leaving. Enter visual leaving. Leaving. Okay, well that seems to be working. It does that better than the damn Mavic Mini. <laughs> Exit visual leaving. Let's see if I got that camera tilted up right. Or maybe the... Oh, I think when it does that leaving, it tilts the camera. You know, this is one of these things you don't get to fly that much. So, yeah, it tilted the camera down, see? 
This thing is not the most stable of quadcopters, but it does seem to fly good. It seems to be okay. Check my battery here. I am at I don't see on here where it tells you your distance. Is that the height? Oh, it's 62 meters up. I see. Yeah, there it is right there. So it's 66 meters up and 116 meters out. That's on the top bar up there. Yeah, okay, so that's good. It has such a severe pitch on it whenever you're flying it. Okay, I still got 64% battery and it's, the video's been going for seven minutes, so it'll be eight minutes now. Okay. Now I'm thinking that well, those modes, those smart flight modes wouldn't work because I didn't have the, the data on the phone, on this phone. The reason, I didn't use my new iPhone 11 on this. It was because I would have had to restart as a rookie pilot again. You know, it had a, all this stuff would have been locked out. Because I had the other phone, the iPhone 8, I got when I got this. Actually, I had the iPhone 6 when I got this. And then when I went to the 8, I had to restart the career over again. He watches. Oh, okay. So I gotta do that. Okay. I gotcha. It surrounds you. Okay. Let me uh, go out here and try that out real quick before the battery goes. I got uh, fifty-nine percent. So let me try that. Okay. I think I might have tried this before. I never could get it to work right. Okay. Let me try it real quick. Enter surrounding. Yeah, what did it say? Yeah, that's what I thought it said. 
Visual locations due to shorter distance. Okay, let me back up. I think I did get it to work one time since I've had this. Yeah. Okay, maybe I need to get closer. I don't... Yeah, okay. Why does it just start going in a circle? Exit surrounding. Enter surrounding. Okay, I guess it's not going to happen. Exit surrounding. Oh, well. Well, it still works. That's all that matters. It still flies. I can put it back into mothballs for six more months. Looks like the gimbal got all cockeyed because I turned it down too low. Yeah, I put it down too far and it got stuck. Oh well, not the end of the world. Landing. Damn, look at that landing. Right on the edge. <laughs> all right boys there you go jamie is ready all right guys have a nice day